Hello, my name is Brenda Mullen and I work for IHDB Market Intelligence. In today's video, we take a look at scenarios for the size of the UK wheat crop this season and consider what that means for supply and demand for the year ahead. So as we all know, a key characteristic of the cereals and oilseed sector is an ever-growing hunger for information. Um, as soon as we have one piece of the puzzle, for, for example area, we need to know the yield in order to obtain production values. At this point in time, there are a number of different sources of information which combined can allow us to estimate the total UK wheat area. Looking at both DEFRA estimates for the English area, the AHDB Planting and Variety Survey and previous averages, we can estimate the UK wheat area at 1,777,000 hectares. If realised, this would be the lowest UK area in three years and below the previous five-year average. Um, so taking this information and turning this into production predictions, we consider yield estimates from the latest AHDB harvest report from ADAS alongside previous averages. The table shows that output is realistically likely to be in the region of 14.2 million tonnes. Again, if this is realised, this will be slightly lower than last year's production and the lowest in four years. We can use these assumptions to start building the picture for supply and demand for, for 2017-18. Forecasts on usage at any point in time need to be made with the best information available. So in our analysis, we assumed that no there are no major changes to wheat demand trends processing capacity or animal numbers year on year in 2017-18. We also assumed opening stocks at 2.04 million tonnes and considered two options for imports. First, the five-year average and secondly, the 10-year average and that takes account of the ever-changing net trade position for UK wheat. So for more detail on the assumptions that we've used, read more in my prospects article on the AHDB cereals and oilseeds markets website. The outcome of the analysis suggests that the UK wheat supply and demand position is likely to be relatively tight in comparison with recent years. With an estimated surplus available for either export or free stock ranging from 600,000 tonnes to 1 million, it's likely that the UK export campaign will need to remain subdued in 2017-18. In 2016-17, UK wheat prices rose to import parity to prevent export demand and this could be the case once again. In terms of what's happening next, the end of season balance sheets for wheat, barley, oats and maize will be wrapped up later this month and these will be followed by the AHDB early balance sheet on the 10th of October. Jack and Amadeep will outline the outlook for the grain and oilseed markets at the Grain Market Outlook Conference on the 11th of October and that will be the most domestically focused conference in AHDB's history. To find out more about that, visit the link shown on the screen. As we manoeuvre our way through the season, we will produce regular updates to UK Cereals S&D on the AHDB Cereals and Oilseeds website.